stray, baby. Bad man, we no stray, baby. Oops, I done fell for you, way, baby. I know, girl, but. Hi, welcome back to Red Pieces. My name is Yoli, and to all my new subscribers, welcome to my channel. Okay, so today I'm actually coming with a, another hair review. Um, it's an initial thought review of some kinky straight hair I received. So the company that I received the hair from is called I Heart Kinks Extensions. It's a black owned hair company that comes out of Houston, Texas that specializes in making hair extensions that basically matches African American textures. So today, like I said, I have Kiki Straight Hair. And let me tell you guys, I'm real pumped because I really love Kiki Straight Hair. I love the look of it. And I love the thought of being able to have some hair that matches my texture and then I can straighten so I don't have to straighten my own. So I think that's definitely a plus and that's definitely pretty cool. I received some Kiki Straight Hair from them, two bundles as well as a lace closure. So the two bundles I received are a 16 and 18 inch and I believe a 16 or 14 inch closure. I think it might be 14 inch closure. But yeah, basically let me show you guys what it looks like. So they came in a regular, U.S. Postal Services um, packaging um, and then inside the packaging I received some bags that look like these which are really really cute. They're so pretty I appreciate that and it also came with some weft sealers for the hair. So weft sealer if you don't know is basically sealing your wefts is basically putting um, this product on your weft so that the hair doesn't shed. Um, or shed as much as it usually would. This one is the 18 inch bundle here. And if you can see, I believe it's definitely true to its length. Um, it's so thick, it's so pretty. This one is the 16 inch bundle. And then this is, and this one is the 14 inch closure. So I think it's a three part closure. If you could tell at the bottom, one, two, three. And what I actually did yesterday was bleach the knots of the closure. So if you don't know about bleaching knots of a closure or bleaching whatever, it's basically once you get a closure, there's like little black dots that you can see on the closure. And that kind of makes it really look like a closure, I guess. But by bleaching the black dots, you basically have a natural, a more natural looking part where you can't really see and it kind of looks like it's your scalp, if you can see. Okay, so yeah, so I basically did that yesterday and I co-washed it and everything. When I co-washed the hair or co-washed the closure, there was no shedding. The hair was totally fine. It didn't change any texture. It came out the same way and it's so, so nice. I let it air dry it and it's still as soft as it was before. And like I said, there was no shedding, no tangling, anything like that. The bundles are really, really thick. Like the bundles, that's why I have only two bundles because, you know, I'm pretty sure this is going to have a really, really full looking um, look to it. So I'm really, really excited to make this unit that I'm going to make. Um, so yeah, I'm going to put the 18 at the bottom and then the 16 at the top and of course the closure hair. Ever since I had the hair, I've been running my hand through it trying to see if there's any shedding and there hasn't been any shedding. So I'm not even sure I'm going to need the weft sealer, but I think I should just do it just in case. Um, so I appreciate that coming with the hair. Um, you know, the company, like I said, is a black owned company. Um, it's based out of Houston, Texas. And, you know, there's different types of hair that the company sells. I know they sell more like kinky curly hair just like this. This isn't their hair, but it's they have similar hair to it. And, um, you know, I'm just really excited about making this unit. I'm really excited to wear it. You can straighten the hair. You can dye the hair. You can flexi rod it, twist out on the hair. You can do all the things you would do to your natural hair on this hair, which is a good thing. Um, you know, I'll make sure to leave all the information for the company at the bottom in the box below and that way you guys can check it out for yourself. But what I'm going to be doing after this video is actually making the unit. And so once I'm done making the unit, I'm going to, um, come back to you guys with another video showing you guys how it turned out. But that's all I have today for my initial review. I hope you guys enjoyed what I had to say. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like. And I thank you guys for your time. You guys have a good one. Bye.